Hello and welcome back to episode 4 I believe of our South American Zoo. Um, in this episode we're going to do a couple of things. So first thing, I want to find something to fill this area here. I'm not sure what it's going to be yet because obviously we've got the staff there. But I would like to have something to fill there. But the main thing we're going to do and the most important one is get our spec spectral spectacled caimans in. So I got these um, at the end of last episode just because I saw them on the market for really cheap. Um, and not bad sort of stats. They're not amazing, but for the price that I got them for, it was a very good deal. I just had a look on the market base now. There's some good some good ones in there, but they're expensive. So these are going to come in sort of this sort of area here, I think. So the first thing I'm going to do is just bring this terrain down so you can have an underwater viewing area. I'm going to flatten all of this out. Um, and then I'll rebuild it afterwards. I didn't need to do all of that at all. Um, and I will just change the time of the zoo. Stop it getting dark. I don't want a, I want I think a six meter path. Something like this, I think. Oh, I didn't want to do that one there. Yeah, I want something like this, I think. Something like that. I think that looks quite nice. Say hello to Hunza SS. Get some credits. Lovely, lovely. Yeah, I quite like this. I think it's it's not too big, it's not too small. So now what I'm going to do is just make this a bit smaller. And get this all from under here. Get this all out so it's not sort of just crushing everyone. I need to play around with the path a little bit. I'm just going to delete this path so I can do the terrain editing. There we go. And then put the path back in. Like that, yeah, that looks a lot better. <laughs> okay, cool. So they don't actually require too much room. Um, which is good. So how many can you get? You can get up to six, so and they have three to eight. So if we go maybe three adults and what let's just say ten juveniles, then you three six six and three one eight. So yeah, that's gonna be plenty of room here. So first things first, let's put the barrier in. How high do they need it to be? I think they can do quite a low one, yes. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a custom barrier for this one. I might just do a sort of a basic barrier. Um because I want it to be quite low. Um, well, not low necessarily, but quite basic. I'm not looking for anything too fancy. Let's get this built round. This wants to all be glass, actually. Um, do 
glass. It's not going to work. I think it's this one here, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> okay, let's delete these two here. And then let's get, let's push this down slightly. Delete this barrier. Smooth this down. Smooth all this out. that will be better. So let's go back to our barriers, glass. Yeah, that's much better. And there's barrier, let's just move this out slightly. Let's just finish this off. Just like that. Okay, cool. Let's see. Size of this. Yeah, plenty of space, plenty of space. Right, let's edit this barrier. Um, let's go from here all the way around to, I think it's going to be this one. And then we want to lift it up. No, so I don't want to select all the way. I probably want to go, yeah, here. This one. I don't want that to be there. Why is that obstructed? There we go. Let's undo that and let's bring this one up to here. There we go, VIP, more VIP guests, lovely, lovely. Say hello to Vivian B. Hello. No security guards, vet research is complete, lovely, let's see what we've got. Our iguanas are done, is that the iguanas in here? No. Our iguanas are over here, aren't they? Yes. How many have we got in here? Have we only got, we've got a male and a female, we have got a male and a female, lovely. Let's do that. Let's set some more vet research up. Uh, we can't. We've got everything. Okay. Well, that makes things a bit easier. So, I think what we will quickly do then is add another exhibit animal just to keep them busy for a little bit. Um, let's go for... What do we want to go for? Poison frog. Is that the one we've got over here? Yeah, we've got the poison frog. What other ones have we got then? Fire constrictor is quite cool. We will have a butterfly um, exhibit at some point. I think we're going to go for the golden poison frog. Um, 
Yeah, because there's quite a few, quite a few um, options for the um, butterflies. That's the word. Um, okay, so we've got three. And they're all pretty rubbish, so we'll go for this one because he's younger. Refresh. Can we get a female? No. Okay. Cool. Fine. Uh, no star from. Well, just deal with it. Basically. Um, Right, let's get another exhibit built. I want to have it on the same grid. We'll have him. Um, we'll move him there. So we can have these. Um, no, I wanted round edges. Perfect. Perfect, like that. Okay. Let's copy these over. And then some of these. Perfect. And then let's send our little guy, Benjamin, to the zoo. Okay, cool. And then let we'll get our vets researching him. Go on, Edna. Okay, you're not in your optimum temperature, so you want, what do you want? 26 to 31, so we'll put you down to 29. And 80 to 90, so we'll go for 85. Sweet. Okay, work zone. Zoo, we'll edit the zoo, add everything in. There we go. What was this that it didn't have? The toilets, okay, that's fine, that's done now. So yeah, so we're on there, that's fine. Um, we'll change this over to the golden uh, golden poison frog. Lovely, lovely. There we go, all good. Where is he? There he is. Lovely. Good old Benjamin. Hanging about on the tree. Okay, right, now let's finish off this um, exhibit. Okay, that's too close to there. That's what the issue was. Right, let's add some water in here. No, they've got loads of water. Is it deep enough for them? I'm not sure. It's not. Yeah, it's quite low, isn't it? I mean, there's loads of water, but it's very low. So I think what we're going to do is we will raise this up. Get rid of the water. Raise this up. Smooth this out. And then put the water in up here. I don't like that yet, that's fine. And now they've got some nice deep water to be able to swim around in. Again, they've got a lot of space, but it's better to have too much space than not enough, I think. <laughs> right, 
Right, let's send these guys to the quarantine. There we go, and we will quickly check the exhibit for some golden poison frogs. Sweet. Okay, she's rubbish, but we need her, so. Good old Carmen. I also love the name Carmen. I think it's a really nice name. <laughs> there we go. So that's them in there. So they should now be happy. Right, our crocodiles are going to be on the way any minute. So we are going to rock rough. We're going to put some rock in around here. Make sure this is all rocky. And then some soil. I'm not sure what they do and don't like, but we're going to put the soil in just around here to start with. Okay, perfect. And down here, it will just go for the short grass just to cover up the mess that I've made with the terraforming. Oh, I've just seen that. That doesn't look great, does it? Hang on, I'll take you back in a second. This little step here doesn't look great. But apparently they can do it, so we'll leave it as that. We'll put a rocky face in here. Okay, cool. And then grass on the side. Lovely. There we go. Are our animals ready yet? That's the question. There we go. Quarantine passed. Chico's ready. We'll just give Barbara a minute and then we'll bring her over. Come on, Barbara. Take your time. There we go. I think we might get one more female they've got anything good in here she's pretty good not too expensive um, I'm gonna go for another, oh, another Barbara over we've got two Barbaras so we're gonna name them Barbara 1 and Barbara 2 <laughs> Uh, can't find access to a star from. Okay, you know what? Um, as we're not doing too badly with the money, we will build you another star from. There you go. Hopefully that keeps you happy. And we are also going to build over here. We're going to build a keeper's hut. Just opposite the gate there. Perfect, and we will build a wind turbine just next to it, and that covers almost all of it. There's a small area without anything, but that is fine. Right. Let's see how these guys are doing. Terrain, you want less soil and more rock. Okay. We can do that. So we'll put rock all around here. Put in some grass. Especially around the edges here. And some grass. There we go. Perfect. Enrichment, obviously, you've got none yet. South America, and we're going to go grasslands. Um, Ok, 
Okay, I'll we'll chuck some palm trees in. Is random rotation on? Yes, it is. Just didn't look like it. Give them a nice big tree over in the corner. Like that. I think that looks pretty cool, to be honest. It's huge, but just hope that they can't climb, basically. Let's put some of these in just around the trees. Not that one there. Okay, and let's go for some reeds just around the edge of the water. Just over here to close off this little horrible bit. Good for the reeds. Let's add some rocks in. So you've got the savannah ones, really. Okay, let's go to that and put the tropical. I prefer the tropical ones. Yeah. Add some of these along the coast. Well, not the coast, but okay, add a bit of rock work here. Turn off angle snap just slightly. Okay, cool, that'll be fine. Um let's just add some little rocks just in around here. Okay, cool. All right, let's check your <coughs> sorry. Let's check your traversable area. Okay, run that for a second. Let it recalibrate. Okay, so they can get in there. We've got lots of room. They're happy with all of that. They can get in and out over here. Yeah, they can get in and out over here. Um. And they've got plenty of room. Okay, cool. So they're happy with their environment. Let's just quickly add some enrichment stuff for them. So yes, let's get some food. So what are you? Spec tackled. Put one of these in here. Um, some underwater fish feeders. Yes, you'll like these. We'll get them right near the guests so they can see them. Uh, oh, I do like this, you know, this South American shelter. Yeah, I'm going to try and build something like that for their house. 
go straight and feed uh, somewhere here. A couple of floating rubber duckies. I think they come up and float to the top, do they? Yes, good. Uh, they will, they, they're happy with that, but I will add in a couple of more little things. Um, they've got lots of food. I'll give them another ball, sort of floating around in the water, for them to play with. And we'll give them a large food tray, sort of just over here. And a water pipe. there for the moment which will be moved but I just want to get some rocks in around the little food tray Something like that, just looks a bit nicer. And then I'll move this just here. Okay, cool. And I think I'm gonna build in that little house just around here, um, but I'm not sure. Right, Barbara number two, I'm gonna change your name as soon as you get in. It's now ready to be delivered. Perfect. Power source and accessible, oh, yeah. Right, I'm going to change that. Just do that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's build you a little theme South American. Let's build you a nice little sort of shelter thing. Right, what have you got? Building pieces. Oh, I quite like the bricks. I could do I could do something with the bricks. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, what does that do? Oh, you can. I did not know you could do that. If you press the button thing next to Z, it moves. It changes the thing. That's really cool. Right, okay, we're going to make. Yeah, we're going to build something. What's out of though? That is the question. What are we going to make it out of? Can we make. Do you want to use the temple? No. I don't think so. No, we're not going to use the temple. I think we're going to go for the bamboo, although I do really like this. He might go for this, you know. With, um, what can we put on top? I think I might go for the thatch roof. No, thatch roof wouldn't quite make sense, would it? Let's go for the walls and see what we've got. Have we got any of those on a slant? That would be ideal. No, we haven't. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to go for this. Move it slightly. Is 
Something like this, yeah. And then I'll move that just over here. Slight angle. There we go. I think it's quite cute. <laughs> right, let's put so oh you don't need any bedding, lovely. Let's put a jetty in there. Something like this. We'll move this, and then we'll get another feeding platform just on here. There we go. Let's see if you're happy. Are you just are you paused? Are you floating? I think Barbara might be broken. She's just floating. Oh well. <laughs> That's fine. Doesn't matter. Alright, let's get some of these and let's check the power because there was an area where there was no power. This isn't one of those areas. Oh. I'll put that there. I'll just delete that one. And there. I'll put one here. One just outside their bed. And then one over here, I think. There you go. I bet you these are the wrong way around. No, they're not. They're good. Okay, cool. Caymans. Caymans. I should have really placed one and then changed it and then placed the rest, but it is fine. <laughs> and then I just need to get some. Um some bins there we go almost done llamas not the best thing to have this near the crocodiles the caimans llamas goodbye caimans hello there we go and then we will get rid of this one and this one okay perfect I think other than some donation bins, that will be fine. Some donation bins next to each of the things. And then get some bins as well. I do need to start putting some benches down, but I just not that worried about it yet. <laughs> There's lots of people gathering around here, so I'll put a couple of bins here. Cool, how do they deal with that? Yeah, they're fine. Okay, vet research is complete. Lovely, lovely. I mean, they're taking their time, but I guess I am only on one time speed, so I'll speed that up slightly. Yeah, uh, I'm going to just move 
mean, they're actually floating, but I'm going to move further. There we go. There we go. Platform is usable. Accessible, accessible. Lovely, lovely. Having that cleanliness is a risk. Why? Because my staff aren't good enough, probably. Upgrade them all, and I will hire another. Oh, they're all really busy, to be fair. So I will hire another keeper. Oh my goodness, I thought that one was dead for a second. That's a relief. <laughs> I'll hire a keeper, a mechanic, um, vendors are fine. I'll hire another vet. Okay, cool. Are these guys okay? Oh. About to inbreed, so you're the dad, I'm guessing. Yeah, although you are gold starred. I mean, your appeal is still not great. What's how much do I get if I release you? 18. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Uh, I hope I caught that in time. We'll see. Please, please, please. Good. Monsieur Fritz, is that a vendor? Oh, you're all out of vendors. Okay, so we are going to need to hire a couple more vendors as well then. Um, bim, bim, bim. Vendor, vendor. I'll get three more vendors. Select everyone onto work zone Z. That's not how you do it. Select everyone onto work zone Z. And then hopefully that will help. Vet research is complete, lovely. Okay, let's go and see our frogs for a second. See if I'm making any money. Uh, not much, not much at all actually, a bit rubbish. Um, hopefully you change the layout will increase that when guests are happy that they see that our little frogs are happy. How many have you got in here now? Four, okay, sweet. I'll keep it at that for the moment. But yeah, okay, so I need to check. I want to check with the llamas if they're happy with how many they've got. Food enrichment, they've not got a lot. Um, social groups, fine. So food enrichment for some llamas. Let's add another grazing thing and a barrel. Or two. Yeah, disease animal discovered. Okay. Come and then Mr. Vet. Are you going to come and get them? Yeah, I can see the vet coming in now. So that is all good. Oh, yay, they're about to mate already. Well, it's a shame there's no guests here to see it, but that's fine. <laughs> it is what it is. Golden Frog has had offspring, and our Cayman's expecting offspring. Very nice, very nice. Okay. Are we in the water? Yes, it's just covered by water. Very nice. No security card, that's fine. So yes, I did at the beginning of the episode say I want to somehow sort this area out a little bit. So I'm going to Crikey. We've got a lot of capybara. Um, we've got a lot. They might have too many. No, they're fine for the moment because yeah, they can have about 50 in here. But they want some more food interaction, so we'll add a couple more things in for them. Some more, just some more barrels, just easier, isn't it? Capybara, um, that's going to be too low, so we'll add some melons in as well. Oh wow, they're about to have offspring already. That's very quick. Well, if you're hungry, why are you just sitting there then? You're about to give birth and you're hungry. So rather than eating or giving birth, they're just chilling out in the water. <sighs> Silly goose. <coughs> I do like this, how they sort of 
and you can just see from over there you can still see in and see in here oh there we go our little babies are arriving five there you go mama croc's gonna be happy with her five little babies very nice <laughs> yes so yeah over here i've got an idea i don't know if it's gonna work i don't think it will work but got an idea of what I want to do. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to have one in there and I'll grid. Weird funky shape in there. Um, I, oh, damn it. Okay, cool. Can this move over one? Yes, it can. Perfect. So I might be able to get that in there. Yeah, I can. Cool. By the time I build, I could body on there. That will get rid of that. So that will be fine. Conservation. Nice. No security. Habitat cleanliness is a disease risk. I hired more staff to stop this from happening. So it's time to upgrade them all again. It's getting expensive now, though. But that is fine. We move. Um, so yeah, we're going to have that, and then we're going to have just one which connects this to here. Yeah, like that. And then this is going to be a little play area. Um, so what I might do as well, actually, is connect it from here. Um, no. Oh no, our capybara, Miguel's died. Miguel, no. Oh, we'll call the vet to come and get you, but uh, it's fine. We've, we've definitely got enough to cover up for that. So soon we're going to have to be checking our capybaras to see who's going to be the alpha male and who they're going to be breeding with um as, oh no it's the same one i thought another one had died then correctly um so yeah so soon we're going to be having to do that but yeah so what i want here is potentially some sort of little play park i don't know if it's going to work but what i might do is have a quick look on sort of the steam workshop see if I can find anything sort of that's looks quite nice and looks similar um, so yeah I'm gonna have a quick look at that and then I will be back so one second so I've had a quick look um, I've seen a couple of things in the marketplace nothing that I want to steal and use um, but a few things which give me ideas on what to make myself so I'm gonna have a go at doing that um, I'm gonna do this as a little speed build um, because it will probably take a little bit of time so I'll do this speed it up and then I'll bring you back um, at the end when it's done so see you in a second
and as you can probably see that's taken me about half an hour to do <laughs> to do some rubbish monkey bars and a little sort of climbing frame thing so you've got the little knobs on one side to climb up and then the rope on the other side um here i want to make some sort of like ferris wheel thing you know like the little spinny things um but not sure if that will work so there's one more thing i want to try but it all depends on the mm, yeah i don't think they'll have it this might work can i change the color of the rope no uh, it might work um right let's see what animal size they've got I mean, I know dingoes aren't exactly South American, but they're still animals, so... Um, yeah, this could work, actually. Yes, I think this is going to work, and this will hopefully look quite cool. Um, emphasis on hopefully. <laughs> um, I need a little block, like a really, really small block. Something like this might be good. circle that's too thick that's too big that's too thick um so i think the easiest thing to do will probably be still one of these Something like that. It's like the little rocking horse things. <laughs> um, kind of works. But yeah, <laughs> yeah it's sort of. Um, but yes, this will get a lot more work in the future. Um, this is just sort of a temporary thing. Well, it's not temporary. I would like to. Oh, I would like this play park to be really cool and nice. But yeah, for the moment, I'm going to keep it with the little crocodile the play frame, climbing frame and the monkey bars this will be done in a later episode um, as will everything else there will be a lot more, this whole thing will be a full play park, um, hopefully it will look really nice, but yes so anyway, we will leave it there so we've gone quite a bit today we've got the speckle, speckle, spectacled caimans in um, and I think they've had babies already um, yeah, five kids no kids but they're pregnant so yeah we've got lots of little guys in here at the moment where are all the babies have we got any good babies is the real question we've got a lot of good um a lot of good capybaras to be fair um so that is very nice to see Some good llamas, yeah we've got a good baby Marcus, Marcus Marcus good lad um, let's see his genes, I mean his longevity is not great but that's fine um, Bartholom Bar Bartholomew Bartholomew I can't say it, <laughs> he's not amazing but yeah I mean, in, in future they will get better as time goes so that's good um, but yes 
we'll leave it there. Um, year 12 now, March of year 12. And yeah, you can see, so this area is going to be similar to this, so build up around it and it'll look nice. Um, just with this entrance and this entrance here. Um, but that is for another episode. So I will say goodbye. So again, as always, thank you for watching. Um, if you like the video, please give it a like. If you've got any comments, please leave them down below. Um, it does help me sort of know what to build in the future and also helps other people that come and watch the videos know what to look out for. Um, but yes, as always, thank you for watching and until next time, bye bye.